Hello everyone, this is Smruti. Welcome to QA Automation Classes. So today we are going to continue on the pull request and uh, today we are going to uh, see like if there is a merge conflict, uh, how can we resolve that merge conflict before creating a pull request or after pull request has been created, how to resolve it and merge it. Okay. So before that, I want to show you this tab, pull request tab. If you see in the pull request tab here, if you click on plus, you can create a pull request and uh, here you can see what, what what has been merged, what is open, what is closed, right? You can see all those changes here, here author, who's the author you can see, right? If you see the last one got merged, right? So user registration flow automated, we have created a user registration branch and merged that code with the master branch. So that one we have already seen and uh, assignee who's the assignee for that one and review section okay and this is the place where we can create the, um, the pull request also see this is the branch to which branch so here also we can create the pull request okay so everything is here so this is just another way from here also we can do okay i just wanted to show so now if you see uh, i deleted that branch uh, the user registration branch that we have created so let's do let's try to uh, create a new branch and uh, let's try to uh, simulate the behavior where we might get the merge conflict okay so this is our uh, git log if you see uh, so user registration first commit in the user registration branch yes so that means everything whatever we created uh, that got merged and uh, currently our origin our head master everything origin slash master everything is pointing to here okay so if you go to the remote also we can see we have only master branch here okay the other one i deleted and here if you see main.java this is in sync first commit in user registration branch so when we merged that user registration branch that came here okay so after that it is fine we are in sync right so now uh, let's do one thing so let's uh, cut out a branch from here but uh, let's make some changes to here first okay so okay so let's say uh, for let's put a for loop okay say int i equals to zero i less than 14 or something then i plus plus okay i plus plus and just a short statement uh, i can print i okay so let's say this is the content that i have over here okay this is nothing but the uh, our main uh, master branch only okay so let's do a commit or login branch master branch so i can commit and push i want these changes to be there in the master so i'm pushing okay so now let's go to remote let's create a new branch here okay source is master new branch name is login okay login so from master we are creating a new branch that is nothing but the login branch so let's go to the login branch now now the master branch and login branch both will have the same content okay so now let's update the master branch and let's update the um, login branch okay so let's go to the first master branch i just wanted to show you we have the same content or not see the same content is there okay so let's go to the first master branch and go to the same file say edit okay so this is the for loop 
okay uh, let it be there in this for loop we can have it here so let's go to the remote uh, that uh, login branch and let's update here okay so so instead of this for loop i'll say edit okay i'm just going to remove this edit. okay and uh, i'll say mute k equals to 2 and uh, while a less than equals to 10 while sorry, while a less than equals to 10 okay and say uh, here also a sub i can show a okay a okay and closing parenthesis okay so let's do a commit change so here 15 16 17 18 okay so commit changes uh, login branch okay so this is what i'm saying i'm changing this one okay so line 15 16 17 and 18 these are the new lines added in the uh main.java in this uh login branch let's go to the master branch so 15 16 17 right so we can update this one also if we want so that we can have a merge conflict so let's uh, remove this thing okay let's say int k equals to 10 okay int b equals to 100 if okay, what is the condition if a double equals to b okay so i'll say system dot out dot print ln okay saying both are equal okay both are equal okay so let me commit these changes in master branch let's commit so now we have two different commits uh, in master branch and also in the uh, uh, login branch so now let's see whether we can create a pull request or not okay so let's go to pull request new pull request so login to master okay so now there is a login and there is master okay so from login to master if you see they are saying can't automatically merge don't worry you can still create the pull request okay so there is a merge conflict but still it is saying okay you don't have to worry if you want you can create a pull request but there is a merge conflict because this is the new code that has been updated so if you see earlier this was the code right and that got updated with this one right so it's showing right what got changed okay so if you see so this merge conflict oh, still merge conflict is there we can create a uh, pull request so go ahead and say create pull request okay and uh, right anything any default message you can keep or any message also you can give so create pull request right so now pull request has been uh, created but we cannot go and do the merge pull request if you see the merge pull request button is disabled why because there is a conflict we have to resolve that conflict so how to resolve that conflict this branch has conflict that must be resolved okay so now go and click on resolve conflicts okay so if you see it started showing what is actual conflict if you see here uh, in the login branch this is from the login branch these changes are there okay and in the master branch the code um, earlier whatever code was there that has been updated to this one okay so out of this which one is correct right so we have to 
make a decision here okay so either we need to either we need to go with the login branch related code or we need to go with the master branch related code or both we want to keep right we have to make a conscious decision and then we have to resolve the merge conflict manually this is exactly how you are doing in the IntelliJ you guys might have remembered right when we are doing that merge that time also in the similar fashion it came right and we just need to uh, say accept uh, yours or accept theirs right so accept yours means whatever you have in the local current that is so your changes will be pushed so now here uh, we see this is coming from the uh, login uh, branch and these changes is from the up to this is login branch changes okay so this changes is login branch changes and this changes is the master branch changes so we need to do one thing we need to take a decision so let's say i'll go with uh, the login branch related changes or master branch let's go with the master branch related changes so we can do one thing we can simply delete these things okay so all right we can delete okay and uh, this one also we can delete okay now there is no merge conflict it is proper so i'll say markets resolved okay and since the we, we merge right so that merge information has to be persisted with a merge com a commit right so commit merge so when you are committing the merge a new commit will get created and added okay so then merging is done so now there is no merge conflict so we can go and do a merge pull request so whatever pull request has been created now there is no merge conflict we can go ahead and do a pull request and there create a merge conflict squash and merge reverse and merge we, we we have already discussed what are these options right so let's see i'll go with the create a merge commit again there will be a merge commit and it will be and uh, the pull request will be merged to the master so now let's say confirm merge see the pull request successfully merged and closed so here you can see merged so let's go to the master branch okay uh, master branch and let's go to our class main.java you see the changes whatever we did in the uh, login branch is persisted over here right and similarly if you want to verify you can go to the login branch and see the code over there see that's the same code okay so now let's go to the uh, our IntelliJ so there have been lot of the things that happened in the background which our local code base doesn't know so how would you know that so let's go here master just do a fetch okay so when you do a fetch you will be seeing there are incoming changes outgoing changes whatever is there it will completely show so if you see it is showing uh, local master needs to have this incoming uh, changes commits are there you need to pull that right so see okay so let's pull that to the let's update our local master yes now everything is updated see the code base is also got updated we have those changes okay so this is how exactly you will uh, create a peer even though there is a merge conflict but this is not advisable in the real time it is your responsibility to first pull the changes from the master branch or the branch where you want to raise your pull request then you resolve it here here you resolve it and then whatever the push is there whatever you are going to push or commit to the remote first you commit the changes and then push it into the remote repository after that raise a peer okay so that whenever the reviewers are done right approving the uh, review, reviewing is done it will, it can be automatically merged with the master branch or the whatever mainline branch you are following right it can directly get merged okay no one will be there to specifically say okay i will resolve this merge conflict right so that is the main thing you have to make sure before raising any peer you have to make sure it is not uh, it doesn't have any merge conflict with the uh, branch base branch to which you are raising a peer that is your responsibility okay so yeah that's all to this session guys if you guys are really enjoying these sessions please uh, do subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends so we'll meet tomorrow again thank you